Schoology tricks, ways to make Schoology more user-friendly for you and your student. Most of our students have the Schoology application on their device or on their phone. When I go to the Schoology app, I can access my coursework and every course that I am registered for. However, some students are finding that certain features are not available while you are in the app. What is offered is limited and some assignments and assessments cannot be completed. The way to fix this problem is to go through the desktop version. The desktop version can be found on your phone under the internet. If you go to your internet, in this case Safari, and you go to the Fort Bend ISD homepage, you will see a tab labeled Parents and Students. Please feel free to navigate through this tab as there is a lot of helpful information. There's a parent's homepage and a student's homepage. Again, please you and your student explore both homepages and see what resources are available to you. For our purposes today, we're going to go to the student's homepage. Under the student's homepage, I will scroll down and see multiple things I can select, but we are going to go to Schoology. When you click Schoology, you may need to log in. I am already logged in, and once you are logged in, it often keeps you logged in. But I'm going to go to Courses, and I'm going to go to the same course we just saw in the app. Now you will see many more options opening up on this left-hand side. You may need to go to Clever to log into a textbook or other applications. You may need to go to Conferences because your teacher is doing a Schoology conference during their office hours. You also may find that this assessment that didn't work before can work now. The next thing I want to show you is again through the student homepage and going to Schoology. This is actually done on the computer. This is if you're using your desktop or your laptop. We're going to go to Schoology and we're going to go to our courses. When I go to my courses, there's a place to click over here where it says My Courses. The reason that is there is because you can only see your top 12 courses in pictures. You may need to click on My Courses to find other coursework. If a class seems to be missing, this could be where it's at. I'm going to click on this one section here, and I'm going to just example folder here. Click on 6th grade resources, student assessment, week 1, April 6th. There's a lot of clicking to do, and sometimes it can take a while. And then I get in here, and there's no way to go back, except for clicking the back button. And when I click the back button, here I am, pressing it again, pressing it again, pressing it again. This becomes very tedious and time-consuming. So instead, right-click the folder you want to open, and open the link in a new tab. When the new tab opens, it does not replace what is currently open. Now I can be in here, I can use the next and previous button, but I can also do that again, right-click, Open link in new tab. This way, what I want to work on is located right here. I can always go back. But the previous tab and the initial tab are still open and easily to navigate. The last feature.